Example number 2, we are asked to find the area of the limit skit r squared is equal to 1 fourth sine of 2 theta. No? So, the first thing that we are going to do is, of course, to express this in terms of r. So, we, since we have the equation r squared is equal to 1 fourth sine of 2 theta, so this should be r is equal to, take the square root, so that square root of 1 fourth is 1 half, and we have here the square root of sine of 2 theta. No? So the sine of 2 theta is square root of um, 1 half square root of sine of 2 theta here ang um, ating equation no? na bago. And ito na ngayon yung gagawa natin ng graph. So kopyahin ko na lang itong ano, mga bagay-bagay na ito para hindi na tayo mag-drawing ulit. Okay. So for this, uh, lalagay muna natin siya sa table. So, we have, uh, tayo ay naka-radian mode. So, babalik tayo sa degree mode. And we have here our table. So, equation natin dito is 1 half square root of sine of 2x. Okay? So, let's start with 0 and with 360 with a step of 30 degrees. Okay. So, ito na ngayon yung mga coordinates natin. No? So, 0, 0, tapos 4, 6, 5. So, we have here 0, 0, 0 0.465 and this is sa 60 natin. Sa i465 din. And we have 465 sa 60, and we have 0 din sa 90. And for the 120, you have error, error, no? So, error, ibig sabihin, wala tayong graph dyan pag error yan, no? And we have 180, that is 0. And we have here... Point four six five then and then 0.465 here and for the 270 we have 0 tapos error error and for the 360 we have 0 na so kung titingnan natin dito magpa-plot itong yung drawing natin kasi 30 degrees at saka 60 degrees ay pareho yung value so kailangan natin ng value in between so let's start with uh, 0 again and then, mag i -end tayo sa 180 degrees lang para mag yung memory natin with a step of 15 para madaanan natin yung 45 degrees. So, for the 45 degrees, we have 0.5. Ibig sabihin, for the angle of 45 degrees, you have 0.5. So, the same with this, dito sa may 335 at uh, 215, you have port, uh, wait, you have here 215 with the radius of 0.5 then. Okay? So, kung ikagraph na natin ito, yung polar natin, at tingnan muna natin, ang pinakamalaking value natin is, ano lang, around, four, around 0.5 lang. So, yung radius na gagamitin natin dito is 0.5. Okay. So, ang radius ng circle natin is just equal to 0.5. So, let's start with 0. Lagay muna ako ng ano, ng guide natin. So, dito yung sa 30 degrees.
si Spider-Man to eh. May joke lang. Okay, so lagyan natin ng kulay. Ito yung ito yung ano, ito yung mata ni Ito yung kailangan natin. Ngayon kung titingnan natin, uh, since symmetrical naman ito, no? Yung quadrant 1 natin is symmetrical with respect to quadrant 3. Kahit ang compute natin dito ay simula lang dito from 0 up to pi over 2, no? Kumbaga, itong isang ito lang yung i-consider natin, no? Tapos ita times 2 lang natin, yun na yung magiging area natin to represent kasi ito ay at ito ay equal lang naman. So, for the differential of area, no? Kukuha tayo ng differential diyan. Ito yan, yung representative na area natin. Of course, this is the, the differential of theta. And of course, this is the radius. No? So, i-direct ko na sa formula. Hindi ko na siya gagawing ano, differential, differential para hindi na tayo malito. So, we have here the integral. No? The area is equal to the integral of 1 half no? r squared of d theta. No? Limit from alpha up to beta. No? So, in this case, our alpha is equal to 0 and our beta here is equal to pi over 2. So, we have here our area is equal to the integral no, from 0 up to pi over 2. But, we have to multiply this by 2 kasi nga, dalawa, ito yung area na to, isa lang yung consider natin sa 0 to pi over 2. So, ita times 2 natin yon para sa area na to na isa. So, magta times 2 tayo dito sa formula natin. So, kung magta times 2 tayo dyan, 1 half times 2, ano na lang, r squared d theta na lang yung matitira. So, magkakaroon na lang tayo ng r squared at saka d theta. Now, what is the value of the r squared? Galing dito, yung r squared daw natin is 1 fourth sine of 2 theta. So, we have here, 1 fourth. Ilabas ko na lang si 1 fourth kasi constant naman siya. And this is sine of 2 theta. And we have here d theta. Okay? So, evaluate natin yung integral natin. So, we have area is equal to ano nga ginagawa natin dito? Kung makikita natin, the differential of our angle to theta, no? Since that is our v, di ba? Kung alalahanin natin yung term natin na topic. Ang v natin ay 2 theta. So, therefore, our dv is equal to 2 d theta. So, since the derivative is 2 d theta, no? magta times 2 tayo dito, since the times 2 tayo dyan, we have to multiply 1 half dun sa labas para mag-compensate siya. So, we have here 1 half and 1 fourth, so that is 1 eighth. No? And for the integral, the integral of the sine 2 theta, that is negative cosine 2 theta. Of course, limit from 0 to pi over 2. Now, uh, if we are going to evaluate our limit, we have here area is equal to 1 8 negative cosine of 2 times pi over 2. minus the cosine of 0. No? So, this is for upper, no? upper limit and this is for the lower limit. So, we have here our area is equal to 1 8 multiplied by so, compute natin yung Naka-degree mode tayo, dalhin natin sa radian. Don't forget na dalhin sa radian palagi. So, 2 times pi over 2, that's pi na lang. So, we have here cosine of pi. That is negative 1. So, this is negative of negative 1. Okay? And we have here cosine of 0 that is equal to 1 no? so we have here minus 1 
Ah, wait lang. Negative ito, so this would be plus na siya. Kasi kung i-distribute natin ito, negative itong isa, mas magiging positive na itong isa. Na? So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng area is equal to 1,8. So, this would be positive 1 na siya, plus 1, so that would be 2. So, computing for the area, that is 1 fourth square units. Okay? So, this is now the area of the limbless gate with an equation of R squared is equal to 1 fourth sine of the